Hello everybody and welcome to Wise Exotics. I'm your host Trevor and today we're going to be going over the September start of the video log series for 2024. To just kind of give an intro, I do a good, bad, what's going on within the collection, kind of just to update because I review and check this myself later to see what's going on and things I need to check on as I notice within the video. So there is a Labor Day sale going on currently. Feel free to contact me on any of the socials that I have posted in community, mainly on Instagram, so it's a little easier for me to chat there. All the plants are doing really well since I've added in the Spider Farmer light. No issues with them, no scorching, no damage. In fact, Taffy has been putting on like two to three leaves since I did that, so Taffy's really happy. Taffy is this big leafed plant right here, which is a... Vici uh, M Cross of Candy Dreams. No, Marodix Lowland. Uh, M X Candy Dreams is Vici A. So Vici B is Marod Cross with Lowland, then Cross with Candy Dreams. The Lowland is why I get such big leaves and grows pretty fast. I, uh, my little bee is doing quite well, and it also pushed uh, another healthy leaf right there. It's the one next to Pink Candy, or what Pink Candy is sitting in. Pink Candy is Vici Berio Pink Candy. Uh, or BE4096 number one. Number two, which is in Japan, and I've been talking to the owner, is actually called VCI Barrio Candy Striped 4096. So there is a difference even just wording because there's only two within the 4096 Grex. One is Pink Candy, one is Candy Striped. So that was some interesting thing to look at. They're very different. Uh, pink Candy is a lot pinker and a lot more flared, where its sibling kind of reminds you of Jeff Wong. Very tall, kind of K-neck with a lot of stripes and ages. Almost like a bronze gold. It's very pretty. So, there's that. Um, let's go into the bad news. So far, if you remember, I have Reflegiana. That red one right there. The big raft looking thing. It is Viking X Reflegiana uh, number one. Number two was damage, even though it was sitting right next to it. I don't know what occurred. Um... Basically, it got scorched or stressed or something. It started to recover and then came back. Actually, I think, yeah, that's number one. I can see it's tag here. Um, so v number two is rest in peace. I don't know why, but it did not recover. It started to and then rebounded. Um, if you check down here, the two Josh siblings, which is this one and that one. That one used to be in that spot, so I shifted it over there. Its leaves got cooked. I don't know why. It's, it, again, got super stressed. I don't know if it's temperature or too cold, too hot, too intensive light, too little light. I don't know. This has occurred several times, and within a group of plants, it'll be like the one here or the one there. It, it'll be random. I, I can't figure it out. But the ones that are here are still doing fine next to it. Even their siblings are totally fine, so I'm not sure. It really makes me ponder and question what's going on with some of them. So I know that I've talked to people that when there are heat waves occur, a lot of their hybrids tend to stress out more than the pure species. So in my opinion, I've found more pure species to be hardier in heat waves for me, such as like when I had a hot day, it was like 111 one year. My diabolic came through it fine, even up to 96, no issues. As long as I cooled the area around it, at night down to like 70 or 60s it it pushed through it didn't stress it didn't freak out now it gave me smaller traps but it kept doing progressive growth so there's that um another thing i'd like to talk about variegation so uh the darker variegated plants everybody calls black variegation is actually a really dark red and i can prove that on i proved that on several occasions with the black miracle uh hybrids basically it is when you breed it out it makes it less dark, so it fades from a really dark black red to a basically a brighter dark red. It's a very interesting trait, but it is not actually a black pigmentation. It actually is a red pigmentation so far that I can tell. Now, surprisingly, my Brumai speckled uh, Reflegiana actually does have kind of like a black inky. They're kind of, you can kind of see them. There's one there and one there. It does get it. I did snag and put some of those cuttings of the basils in plenty of people's orders. So it, I'm all out of them, but that one basils like crazy. So when it has basils again, I'll let you all know. 
That one gets like golf ball, softball kind of size uh, raft traps that are very squat. So that's, I've always called it the Brunei speckled squat. But its leaves always were very sensitive to light and cold. Well, that's why. Now, the dark variegation or black variegation, whatever you want to refer to it as, I'm just going to call it darker variegation, tends to be very prominent within black miracle hybrids. So you have a good chance of those having it. Uh, if you actually are looking for some, I think my friend Mike's Little Oasis on Instagram does have some still. I know he's got a bunch of seedlings going on. Uh, you th I think my seedlings are going to give me a headache. He's got like 20 pure VCI plus, if not more, and like 35 plus different hybrids. And that's not all the ones that are in, in his seedling freezer. Those are just the ones he's germinated. <laughs> I just kind of go, Wow. I'm super excited to see what he's going to be pushing out in a couple of months, if not next year. Definitely look forward to that. Um, I know I'm getting some. Let's see. So some of the plants did go up for sale uh, in the Liberty Day. Singulana X Abolca is no longer here. Uh, the Minima X Candy Dreams number two is gone, and that was sold to one of the guys I actually met up in Bay Area Cannabis Plant Society uh, event in June. Really nice guy, and, you know, he. I think he'll really enjoy it and take care of it. Its sibling is simply amazing. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna sugarcoat that. All the plants are doing well. The variegated plant is really happy with the new light. As you can see, the variegation was kind of little streak, little streak. This is with the spider farmer light. This is tricolor, so it's white with a little light green and then the normal leaf green, so that's why it's called a tricolor variegation. I hope I can get... Is it, my friend... Um, Samantha actually has the white phantom wrap, which actually gets variegation like this. If we can cross it with that black one, with the black inky spots, we can kind of get a salt and pepper tri-variegated wrap. Would be awesome, in my opinion. That at least sounds fun to me. Anywho, uh, as you can see, all of the plants that are still here doing quite well, beyond the ones that I said had some problems. Viking X Hemalagiana. Really weird traps. Almost kind of reminds you of a riso. Really tiny weird wings. Lemon cherry is actually making me a trap by Collatera. Orange X red from Carnivero actually had a nice big leaf jump. Uh, my white Riflegiana doesn't seem to care. Doing quite well. Uh, let's go check it out in the tank. So plants in the tank are really doing well. These two are crazy. Look at the striping on this little V chai. So these are KX candy stripe X candy. This one's actually you can see them little black speckles. So it's actually getting a black variegation, a dark variegation. The speckles are starting to appear. This is not related to Candy Dreams. So this is Candy Stripe X candy that's crossed with a female K. Both of those are crazily striped and they're already kind of getting this orangish red, so they're gonna be phenomenal. I do have a basil from a red one coming in that I got. Uh, that should either be here today or tomorrow. So I'll do a little update for that. Uh, the Orange X Candy Dreams, one of them was having a little temperament, so I rebagged it, and it's pushing a growth tip, so it's fine. Here are some of the cute little sundews that I got uh, in a recent trade with Barrier Botanicals. There's another one hiding in that little pot which is Suratensis expellii. That was from Western Desert Carnivores when we did our trade. He's the one who sent me the Clipiata from BE. But all the plants are doing well. One of the macros was stressed in the heat wave, but it's very pushing growth tip, so I'm glad to see it soon. Well, Mavalosa is actually doing pretty good. It's getting little toothy traps, finally. Diabolica. Oh, yes, she's doing very well. Look at those leaf jumps. I'm looking forward to seeing those traps. <laughs> Believe me. Velosa Hamada definitely gave me a mini trap, but big leaf jumps. Meow, that's one of my cats, that is Jinx. The Hamada here for Tamba Sissy. Both the Hamadas had some nice jumps during the summer. So we're just doing pretty well here. All the seedlings are doing crazy. I'm going to actually be dividing and putting them in a seedling dome as of this month. VGID is growing like a weed. Look at that, leaf jumps. So you can see the first leaf, I had it, was down there. It was very tiny. Then it got that, now it's getting that. That is probably the fastest leaf jump on a little Vici I've ever seen in my collection. I mean, you can see they're all pretty progressive. They don't usually do super crazy jumps. It's crazy. Uh, 
Now, I've had some people tell me that these red stripes down the middle is a type of variegation on some leaves, but I'm kind of divided on that myself because I've seen it appear and disappear on certain species. Some species have it, some don't. It's really weird to say. So these are four from Samantha. She's the only one to my knowledge that originally had it. Uh, one of them she sent to Mike who then sent it to me through random butterfly effect. These are Pink X Barrio number two. Uh, nice red ones as you can already see. So this, this was my first one from Samantha that she sent as a freebie. Really nice of her. Then I got this one from Mike and with those two. Uh, and then I just got these two. These both have confirmed stripes. I can see them. They're really nice. Do not sleep on the KX Barrio candy stripe X candy. I, that, that's one thing I'm going to say. This is another one that's, I'm saying is pretty crazy. Look at the stripe intensity on this little one. This is Marad X candy striped or CK as they're now referring to it as. Best clone crossed with Corbus. It's car 0207. That thing has crazy stripes on it. Now, it's interesting that I'm seeing the reds coloring up here. But this is super dark red. It's not orange red or vibrant red like that. It's kind of dark. So it's really interesting to see, like, that's a red. So we're going to have some crazy VGI in a couple of months here. I don't know if I can handle them all, everybody. But I'll try. <laughs> uh, the Robs and the Nebs are doing fine. This thing has had that big jump I've been super happy with seeing it. Again, Pudica doing fine. Actually popped its new trap yesterday. As you can see, it really likes to push the traps outside and down, and I have to physically move them near other pots or they try to burrow. Nothing in the roots yet. I've been checking. I've been checking. Nothing there, but uh, all the seedlings doing crazy. So from that white tag to the right, those three are Ritz X Barrio number two from Cross Exotics. And then from that white tag, those four to the left are the JF001 Yellow Peristone Cross Brown Sarasone that was crossed with Marad Striped X Candy Striped. Some crazy genetics in those. Some of those are actually changing color already. So I'm gonna divide those out. I'm gonna sell maybe some of the larger ones and just try to make some room within the seedling dome. So I'll keep you all appraised of that. I know a bunch of you are really hoping to snag one. There are plenty, believe me. There are plenty. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna do it to where I sell each one for $25 individually, but if you wanna buy three, there'll be a discount and it'll be just 60. So instead of $75, it'll be $5 off of each one individually or 15 off basically. So, all the plants are doing quite well in the tank anyway. <laughs> no issues. Uh, Sumatrana actually did pop its new trap. I've been really happy to grow Sumatrana. Look at the stripes on this thing. Actually, I think it got more stripes since the last time I took a photo of it. Wow. Because it, it had stripes, but not that crazy on the lower lip. So, does that mean it... It actually developed more stripes over time. And just like a week after a pop. That's that's amazing. I love this Palawanensis this is stripes. This one I'm debating, but I have the that one I have plans for, so no worries, no worries. Um let's see if we go back over to the main area. I don't know if I showed it, but I did also get a pingicula, so it's hiding in here with number 42 from uh from Red Leaf Exotics, which is that. Not the crazy little red VCI. That's my uh, VCI A, or one of the two A's. I keep forgetting I have a second one now. I'm gonna probably be dividing the yellow A out after it's pushed a new leaf, once that's doing well. Let's see, uh, the dual leaf finally pushed its new leaf out. It is developing, it looks like one of the two nodes, so we'll see how that goes and I'll keep everybody appraised of that. Might do a mini update on that. Minimix Candy Dreams there. Look at that new trap. That thing is phenomenal. Do not sit on those if, and do not wait to grab one of those if you can, because those are basically literally like mini candy dreams. I think from what I saw of James or Propagate the Cities, 
some crazy ones look like candy dreams if not better like more intense reds more speckles more they get like a black stripe with the red and yellow stripes as i think this one's even shown that uh its sibling had it too so that'll be crazy anywho i hope everybody's doing well uh if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to post if you want to chat with me or you need help with your setup again you can post here or if you need to talk and or share pictures please go to instagram and i can chat with you and figure out help you figure out what's going on and we can try to do a game plan on your setup best regards everybody hope you're doing well and happy labor day Trevor out